Now we'll see how to alter or update an existing record in the database. We'll do this first using the GUI and we'll notice the SQL query it generates. In PHP My Admin, click to get into the Movies database and then into the Movies table. Click on one of the movie titles. Change its value and when we leave the input box the value will be instantly updated. Incidentally, we'll be coding this exact same interface where you make an alteration directly in an input box and save the new value just by leaving the input box for the favourite movies project later. Now look at the SQL query generated. It consists of three clauses, update, set, where. In update we specify the database name and the table name. In set, the field name and its new value, and where is the criterion to match. We have to use the movie ID because this is the only way of uniquely identifying a record. Copy that query, edit it to create another one of your own. As you know, we don't need to specify the database name because we're already in it, and we don't need the back ticks because none of these table names and field names is a special MySQL command, so we can delete those. Let's change the title to The Right Trousers. Delete Movies, where Movie ID equals 15. That'll change the wrong trousers to the right trousers. That, very simply, is how existing records are updated in MySQL. And in the next lesson, we'll learn how to use more advanced select syntax to perform the join that we need to link favourite movies and users by their ID numbers.